Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Terry Silver trained Johnny instead of Kreese during the Karate Kid? So in this timeline, Cobra Kai would have two dojos, and each of them would be run by Kreese or Terry. Johnny would still join Cobra Kai, but he would join Terry's dojo, and he would be Terry's student. So Terry would train Johnny in the ways of Cobra Kai, and Terry would be teaching his students slightly different than Kreese. He would show them the Quicksilver method, and by the time the events of the Karate Kid would happen, Daniel would still move to the valley, and Daniel would still talk to Allie. Johnny would show up and see this, and he would attack Daniel and give him a broken nose. Johnny would say, if a man can't see, he can't fight, and that extreme situations require extreme measures. So Johnny and the rest of the Cobra Kais would leave Daniel even more beaten up than he was in the original timeline. Johnny and his friends would still pick on Daniel, and those events would stay the same. They would still beat up Daniel during Halloween, and Mr. Miyagi would still save Daniel, and the next day, they would go to Terry's Cobra Kai Dojo. Mr. Miyagi would want to de-escalate the situation by proposing the tournament, but Terry wouldn't agree to this. He would want to see a fight between Johnny and Daniel. He would start pressuring Daniel to fight Johnny. Terry would tell Johnny to attack Daniel, but Mr. Miyagi would stop him and say that was enough. Terry would start laughing, and he would want to fight Mr. Miyagi, and it would be a very similar interaction between Terry and Mr. Miyagi, like in Karate Kid 3, but Mr. Miyagi would still be Terry in this timeline. Mr. Miyagi and Daniel would leave. Terry would instruct his students to mess with Daniel and Mr. Miyagi, much like he told Mike Barnes in the original timeline. Eventually, Mr. Miyagi would go see Kreese, at his dojo, and he would offer him the same deal that he offered Terry, and Kreese would accept. Kreese would tell Terry to tell his students to leave Daniel alone to train, so Kreese would train his students for the All Valley, while Terry also trained his students for the All Valley, and Mr. Miyagi would help Daniel train, and the night of the tournament, Cobra Kai would have twice as many students in the All Valley, Daniel would still win his matches and advance in the tournament. Terry would tell Johnny to humiliate Daniel, much like he told Mike in the original timeline. Johnny and Daniel would fight, and much like Mike, Johnny would score points and then get them taken away. He would make Daniel suffer in the tournament, but Daniel would still beat Johnny in this timeline using the crane kick. Terry would be mad at Johnny, but not like Kreese was in the original timeline. He would just say that he expected better of Johnny. Terry would say that Johnny was going to help him find a new champion. Terry would manipulate Johnny into wanting to get even with Daniel. Terry would want to get revenge on Mr. Miyagi and Daniel, so he would hire Mike Barnes a lot earlier in this timeline to intimidate Daniel, and Johnny would help Mike, and this would go on for a couple months. The events of Karate Kid 2 would still happen, Mr. Miyagi and Daniel would both go to Okinawa, and Daniel would still fight Chosen, and by the time they got back, Mike would continue to mess with Daniel. Mike would still force Daniel to re-enter in the tournament, and both Daniel and Mike would train for the All Valley. In the night of the All Valley, Terry would tell Mike to defeat Daniel. He wouldn't repeat the mistake of telling him to earn a point and get it taken away, so without those restrictions, Mike would easily defeat Daniel, so Mike would win the 1985 All Valley, and Mike would become a new owner in Cobra Kai, and Terry would leave Daniel and Mr. Miyagi alone. Cobra Kai would continue to grow, Johnny would still be around, and he would be promoted to instructor of his own Cobra Kai dojo. Terry would open various Cobra Kai dojos in the valley, and Cobra Kai would grow over the years, 
And that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Terry trained Johnny instead of Chris during the Karate Kid? Let me know in the comments below. All members have access to emojis that can be used in comments and live streams. This isn't mandatory. This is only something extra. If you want to support the channel even more, YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed. So if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.